Hi friends! Today for Kawaii Club we're going to make these cute little plush acorns out of felt. In your kits you will find two colors of felt, a darker brown and a light brown. Your needle will be um, attached, uh, taped to a piece of cardstock. Some dark brown felt uh, floss, embroidery floss, and some pink for the embroidering the cheeks and face. There is a paper acorn template that you're going to cut out and some polyfill stuffing. You will need to provide your own scissors and a pencil or a pen tracing. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is cut out your uh, paper acorn template and uh, cut it into two pieces, the top and the bottom. And you're going to trace them over your felt. You can use dark pen like I did here, um, or pencil would actually be preferable if you can see it. I used pen here so that it would show up better on the camera. Um, and you can trim away any of the pen afterwards, if you can still see it once it's done with the sewing. <clears throat> so you're going to want to trace it twice, once for top and bottom. Um, you can do it that way, or you can, if you have you can enough room, you can do it below there. So in case you make a mistake, you can use the other half of your felt. Um, if you don't want to trace it twice, there's a trick you can do, I'll show you with the cap, where you can trace it once and fold it over and cut it out that way. Either way you do it, it'll work. It's just a matter of preference. So using the lighter felt, I'm going to trace the cap. like that. And then you're going to cut out your pieces. So one way you can do is to just fold it over like that and cut both uh, sides out at once. It's a little bit of a time saver and it makes sure that the pieces are more or less shaped the same and evenly cut. For a project like this that has a lot of smooth sides and it doesn't, is not very intricate, it doesn't matter as much because you can trim it to match afterwards. You'll have to excuse my voice. My allergies are making my voice disappear. And you're going to want to make sure that your pen the side that you use to trace will be on the inside of your project when you're done. All right, there's the caps. And you'll be able to flip that over and hide any of the pen, remark, pen marks left over. Trim any edges that might be sticking out. Like that. Make sure they're nice and even. Okay, and now we can cut out the acorn bottoms.
There we go. Okay. And make sure these match and line up. All right. Now, when you start sewing it together, you're going to want to make sure that the top and bottoms are sandwiched like so, so that um, it'll all stick together. Or not stick together, it'll be sewn together. Um, you want to make sure that the top covers enough of the bottom so that it'll be sewn well together. But first, we need to embroider the face. Okay, now it's time to embroider the face on your uh, acorn. You're going to do the bottom front cover of your, of your acorn. And with your embroidery floss, you can separate it into two strands. There's six strands total in your thread there. And you can um, divide it into two sections of three. And then just gently pull it apart. And that will give you uh, double the amount of thread to use for your project. You don't have to do this, but it guarantees that you have enough to complete your project. So once you've pulled it apart, you can set one half aside. And you will go ahead and get your needle. off of the cardstock there and thread it with the dark brown floss. Okay, we're going to start by um, kind of visualizing where you want the eyes to go. Um, you might want to not put a knot in the back of your um, thread so that it doesn't pull through the felt all the way especially if you're a beginner sewing and you haven't done much of it before, it's easy to pull all the way through. So you can make a little knot there. And I take the cap and just kind of place it on there so I can visualize where I want my eyes to be in relation to the cap of the acorn. So you kind of see there, I did some smiley eyes, some little squinty smiley eyes. So I'm going to do that again. I'll show you how. Start by pulling through from the back. And trying it here. Now let's see. This might be a little small. Careful, a thread likes to knot. Yeah, I think I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go over the same spot again, making it a little bit bigger. Up from the back, a little further down this time. And I'm going to kind of angle up and to the side. Floss likes to get tangled. There we go. Just like. Okay, dropped my thread here. So now we're going to finish this eye coming. Up from the bottom, in the back, and back through the top to make kind of an upside down V shape. There we go, like that. And now we want to space it, try and get it evenly around the same size. And at the same height. You can break out a ruler and measure if you want, but otherwise um, you can just eyeball it. There we go. Now after you're done with the eyes, it's up to you if you want to make your mouth pink or brown. You have enough thread to do either. 
I'm going to stick with the brown here. And I'm just going to do a few tiny little stitches to make a little, little bitty smile. And they're just going to be placed just close to each other, not quite touching, because otherwise it wants to tear through the felt. Oh, one more. Like that. Good. Cute little Kawhi smile. All right. Now you can turn it over and make a knot and trim it. I see I have a little bit of a knot going already. So I'm just going to tie it off and trim it. Um, just remember this part won't be seen when your acorn's all done, so it doesn't matter if it's kind of messy back here. You just don't want to waste too much thread. There we go. Make my knot. And give it a little trim. And now we can switch to the pink thread. All right, now I'm breaking out the pink. Uh, I want my cheeks to be real prominent so I didn't split this uh, floss up. Um, I'm keeping it nice and thick. And... I almost forgot to put a knot in the back at the end so it doesn't come through the back. And I want my cheeks to kind of be right under the eyes. So it's going to make a single line, making sure it's kind of straight and even. There's one. And then there's two. Just like that. And go ahead and knot the back and trim the floss. Okay, now the last part of our assembly. We are done embroidering our face. So now we get to put it all together. You're going to want to match up your bottom halves. Don't worry if they're not perfectly even. We can trim any excess off afterwards. And then we're going to add our tops, making sure that it's sandwiched well in here. Like that, so that it's caught up well there. We've got our thread, making sure we've knotted the back. And it's best to start at the top so you can catch all of the cap, and then it'll make it easier than trying to juggle and hold everything together later. Now, if you don't want your thread end to be visible, you can start in the middle there and kind of stick your needle through from the middle. all the way to the front and then go back and catch the back half and you can kind of tuck that thread in underneath. And then you can go back to the front, from the front to the back, catching all four pieces of felt. And then we're going to go across the bottom where the cap meets the rest of the acorn. 
and catch all of that on your thread. I'm just going to go in and out, a little running stitch. Try to make it even, not like I just did here. This one's a little wonky and uneven. But what happens when you're not quite paying attention or moving too quickly. So I'm going to try and make sure these are all lined up parallel with the edge of the felt. It just looks a little bit neater. But if you want it to be kind of cutesy, you can make them uh, kind of angled on a in different angles and kind of like a crazy sewing patch look. But that's up to you. Continuing across, making sure my felt hasn't slipped. So it likes to slip down a little bit. Once we've gone across, we're going to go up around the top and we're going to leave, oops, and we're going to leave um, a little pocket on the bottom left to open to stuff our, with our polyfill. So that's the plan. Continuing across, back and forth. Try not to tangle. Now I can start angling up. The top part of the cap, because we're sewing it on like this now, won't have any stuffing in it. If you really think it needs stuffing, you can add it before you finally close it up. But I don't think it needs it. It's such a small area. It's okay if your felt doesn't line up exactly as you're sewing it. We can trim any extra off later. You can see there. You just want to make sure you keep catching both sides, both pieces. And so this part's going to be a little bit lower than I normally would or the one I had on my sample because it's a little short on the back. Continuing down the other side. Do that. And I'm moving kind of quickly here. But if you take your time, your stitches will be nice and neat. All right, now I'm just going to do one more in this section here, and then I'm going to continue down around the bottom of my acorn.
nice and neat. I'm making sure I'm leaving enough of an edge so I can trim it to make it even but later. You don't want to be too far in so you don't have anything to stuff. And so it's a little balance. Go around the bottom. Now I have a little opening here. I'm going to add my polyfill. You want to break it up and start with a small piece first. You don't want to overfill it because then it makes it very hard to uh, finish sewing the closed. A little bit more and that should be good. That looks like a good amount. And I can still hold it closed while I finish sewing it. Tuck that all the way down. A few more stitches to keep it closed. And when you want to finish up, if you want to hide your thread, Again, you can do like we did at the beginning by just putting it through into the middle and then trimming it. And I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to do one more back here. Uh, come up from the middle between the two pieces. And then just trim it. It should stay. And now I'm just going to take my scissors and trim off any pieces that really don't line up and match. Making sure not to cut my thread. <laughs> Let's see a little bit at the top, the sides. Just like that. There we go. My back's not as nice as the front, but there you have your acorns. That's all for this time. Bye now.